Hello, hello, hello. I am a little bit early today, but you know what? I just had some things that went on that I am going to have to do later in the day, and so I decided to get started a little bit early. Hoping that everyone that doesn't catch me live will come and see the replay. Hi, Melissa. How are you, sweetie? It's nice to see you. So I'm going to be working on my jelly plate today. I have taken cardboard pieces and... Um, distress them to use as a technique and I thought I would share that with you guys today so what I'd like to do is come up with a plan a couple of plans a plan a plan so I have here royal violet and uh, it seems to be brand new so I'm gonna open this thing up so how are you Melissa thank you for joining me today I um, have been doing this on Wednesdays now. This is my fourth Wednesday. It's been a hoot. It is so fun. And I am so enjoying having this outlet. Having it um, be so much uh, variety, right? I have been doing different colors, different stencils, different techniques, different themes. Um, I'm going to work with a little bit of purple this morning because I have, um, oh, Melissa, I've been missing you too, sweetie. Big hugs. Big hugs. It's been tough. I've been readjusting my life to fit in new things, and uh, which makes me not available for all the other things I've been doing, had been doing. So this is from a Muscle Milk box, and I liked this because of the size, right? So I made three of them so that I would have three different textures. Uh, some I made a little bit more chunky and um, corroded. Some I made with a little bit more flat spots. Um, just tried to make each one a little bit different, right? So what I'm going to do is I put a base coat down here. This is not full coverage. This is full coverage but not opaque. I'm going to get myself figured out one of these days. So I'm going to set this down on here. And it's kind of nice because I have like these handles. You see this? The handles here. So now I'm going to press. And then I'm going to go up. And this just about, the two of these, will cover my board really well. See that? And then there's just, just a little bit of paint left on here. So now I am going to come in with different shades of purple and possibly other some other colors and just build this up from here and we can always bring back in the um, cardboard pieces or we could leave that in the back i am going to go this way with it because i'm going to go the opposite of the lines i gotta slow my roll i'm getting a little bit clumsy here a little bit so, Melissa, what have you been up to lately, girl? What have you been doing? I have been working um, the last, gosh, this is, so September, October, November, December, January, February, uh, six months now, I've been working with the uh, uh, virtual craft vendors market. Hi, Keisha. How are you, girl? I was uh, going to display this today going to uh, not display I was going to demonstrate I can't talk this morning but because a, a thing came up on my schedule Keisha I had to do my video early which is fine I like working early anyways but look at these these are from boxes of muscle milk um, I get these delivered to the house um, it looks like there is um, I guess 12 that would be a case right so they're long and narrow and they have different sizes here. This one's a little bit more narrow. This one actually fits on here two times really well. I'm, I'm kind of uh, jabbering so that I can make sure to let this dry a little bit. But let's go ahead and grab a couple other things because we know, we know your girl likes to add all kinds of different textures in here, right? And so I'm gonna do some, some circles, not a complete coverage, just random 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 now we want to bring in something else so we could we could purple pansy how pretty is this oh come on focus there we go apple barrel i will tell you ladies 
um, I have found that, and I need to write it down, some paints are opaque and some paints are more translucent. And I don't know that it's um, something that you can tell by the cover of it. Like it doesn't say, some will say matte. That's the most I've seen. Some will say matte, but I haven't seen it where it, you know, says this is more opaque. So I need to make a catalog and then I can share that with you guys about which ones I got a schmutz in here from my bubble wrap. It happens. I'm used to it. Um, so now we can grab a different texture and bring that in. This is a paper stencil that I've had for a while. And if I put this down, what I can do is I can rub off parts of that paint, right? To leave some of that detail in there. Do you see that? Let's see, I'm not going to do it in every spot all over the place. I'm just going to, I just want to break it up. I want to have different levels and layers of texture throughout the whole thing. And on screen, just so you know, it looks blue. This is a royal purple. Royal, beautiful purple. But it looks pretty in the blue, too, to be honest. Um, Keisha says, I hope, uh, Melissa, I hope to see you come to the market February 5th through the 7th. Hang out with us. Melissa, you know what? It would be cool because you don't even have to buy anything. That's the great thing about the market is, is it's a bit of a, um, like a hangout. You know, it's just a place where we all kind of gra gravitate together, whether we're um, planning on buying or looking for something particularly, you know, just just hanging out, having fun. I'm going to bust up this darker purple a little bit with my dots, with my dots. We all know how I love my Legos. Um, after I get done pulling this one up, I'll show you guys what I worked on this morning for my hashtag Joya Blue project. Um, I've been getting some things ready for that. I don't know exactly what I'm going to, um, you know, finish off and have throughout the whole thing. But I do know that I have really enjoyed finding new ways to work with blue. It's been something I have never done before. I don't know if anyone else is. I mean, I just gravitate towards pinks and purples um, and purpley blues. But I've been trying to push myself a bit and get myself to another place in the blue world. Blue, blue world. I'm looking for this. Because we know you can't have a, a, a really good jelly plate print without my, without my diamonds in there. So let's go ahead and throw this back on here and just bring in a little bit more if we can. And I'm going to bring this up with clear um, because I want it to look exactly the way it is. All right. So now I'm going to move this, turn it over, roll this purple off. And put the, I'm going to put the clear on the side here because the last couple times that I've been putting it on the board, it's created this wave effect. And I, I don't hate it, but I just don't want it in this one. I want this one because it's a full board print. I really want it to just have everything that it has here. And I have another schmutz. I think I got my glasses on. There we go. This is going to be pretty cool. Does anyone else love purple? If you don't love purple, I don't, I mean, you don't have to love it. But if you don't like purple, I don't know that we can be really close friends. I mean, I can hang out with you, right? And we can, we can uh, be casual friends, but I just don't know. Alrighty, here we go. Love me some purple, pink, and now I, and I do love green. You know what? Ladies, I'm even learning to love orange. I don't know that there's colors that I don't like. You put it in the right situation. <laughs> Melissa laughs at me. If you put it in the right situation, every color is beautiful. It just sometimes if you put them in the wrong situation, the wrong combinations, they aren't going to show their best. right? Now this isn't all going to come up, so we're going to get two prints out of this. But we did get this one, which... Come on, camera. We got a lot of depth in there. Now, this is the cool thing is I have this purple background now, right? But look at all that. 
look at all of that. Now, how fun would it be to do something boho and throw some teal on here? Teal and purple are so fun together. Let's do this and not get it too thick so that we get more up this time. My book's a little bit close. There we go. Let's see what this looks like. So this one would make a really nice background. So if I scanned this in and then layered images on top of that, or you used it as a background in um, a master board for say ATCs, you're working to not so much time. That's okay, Keisha, as long as you're hanging out with me. I so appreciate it. Same with you, uh, Melissa. I so appreciate you guys. I know that not every time of the day and not everything I'm doing is always gonna be uh, work for everybody, but I so enjoy it when it does. So here we go. Ready, set. Oh, look at that purple and teal together. Oh my goodness, I love that. Oh, it looks so much better in person, you guys. I need to really um, scan these in and share pictures of them. If you could see it in person, you just see so much depth. So I'm going to set these two aside. We almost got all that color off the board. So now I'm wondering what direction I could go. Let's throw down some yellow because, well, I'm going to just say it because I can. Oh, this one's got boogers. Boogers in the house. I um, am going to put this down and then I'm going to show you a technique I was working on earlier today. So that you can see what I was doing. So what I was doing is I was putting paint and or alcohol inks and sprays and things down on the board, right? Then I put the stencil on top of it. Then I take a piece of paper and I remove some of that. All right. You see how that works? See how we're getting kind of a almost a corroded feel to that. I think I'm going to go in next layer is going to be orange because the great thing about orange is if you mix it in the layers of certain colors, you will get some beautiful depth. And I know orange, but every time I use orange, I'm so happy with what I end up. So I get it in there and move it around and see what I end up with. Now again, I'm going to pull some of this off because we're just doing up layers. And then I want to show you, I'm going to put on, uh, I'm going to take this off and let that dry a bit. And then I'm going to show you what I did this morning. So there we go. Look at that. Now what's, what's going to, this is going to determine whether it turns out great or not is what colors I put on top of that. Right. But I'm going to let that dry. So I want to show you, I did alcohol inks on UPO paper this morning, UPO paper and photo, uh, uh, photo paper. So this is photo paper and this one's just blotchy because I was just pulling up the print, the excess on the print. This is one I've done before just for an example on photo paper. It's not as easy to work with this as it is um, UPO paper, but this is what I did for the um, hashtag Joya Blue for this next, the 12th of this month, next month. Um, I will do more things. I'll be doing some resin. I think I have resin here. I don't know, maybe I put it away. I tend to clean sometimes, not very often. But um, this is the, the theme of the, the hashtag Joy of Blue is blues and the different ways that you incorporate them into your art. So this one I was very excited about. This one is a translucent UPO paper. This one is a white cardstock type. Let me get that focus back. There we go. So that is UPO paper and alcohol inks. So then I also was messing around with oxide sprays. You see this? This is one side. 
and this is the other side and this was done with these three oxide sprays and we'll play with these some more distress oxides this is the first time i've had them and i am going to be uh selling a set of these uh a couple sets of these at the market um together with kits so really exciting really exciting and then i was excited to see well what can i do with these right well what's what's so cool about these well obviously there's really something cool about those they are um a vibrant color but then the oxide comes up and almost makes it mute it just it's crazy it's crazy cool crazy cool i'm gonna throw um some teal down here and i'm gonna throw some purple down here and i'm just gonna probably end up making mud but it will be my mud and i will love it because it'll be mine now i don't love everything i make girls that is definitely a fact but i want you to know that even if you don't love what you make love the journey right art is not a destination love the process love the joy of it love the the um oh you know when you make a mistake you've learned something and so if you don't make any mistakes, you're not going to learn anything. Look at that purple in there. Isn't that fun? So now I'm going to bring the teal in too, but I want to break this up a bit. Because why? Well, because that's just what I do. I don't want anything to be just completely any, anything. Nothing can be just plain. Just throw some designs in here so that we have texture and depth and it brings out other colors. But without ruining my flower in the center. Alrighty, so now I do want the teal in there. That's going to be pretty, Keisha says. I think so too. I think so too. Sometimes color is scary, but I have found some of my best work is color is things when I just put so many colors together. I couldn't I couldn't believe that I did it, right? It was crazy town crazy town now what i want to start doing ladies is i want to start um having it to where I, uh, and i'll start probably episode six so two more episodes but what i'd like to do is start where um i um let me get this thing back so i can do some more uh i'm thinking about putting this right in the center of this there we go so there's just something there i mean the circle's pretty and all it's in its right place but i just thought maybe anyways um i'm thinking about having it to where when i am done with a project like this um i would scan it into patreon and onto my patreon and then uh, the patreon members could print it out and use it and then we could share and see what all you guys have created with them so we'll see that's my my plan that's where i want to go with all of this but we'll see how long it takes me to get there you know I'm going to pick this up with clear. I've got to be more careful this time than I was with the purple. I do not want it to be so thick that it doesn't come up. So that's the goal is to get this on here, but not so thick that it won't pull up. I wish you guys could see this. If you could see it, you would be amazed at how those colors separately do not look like they go together but once they're together in the right way okay oh i spilled ink on myself i was you you think keisha look at keisha she's so funny you think keisha that you were messy i got indigo indigo alcohol ink all over my brand new fingernail polish that i just got done yesterday <laughs> leave it to me leave it to me but that's okay i was having fun i did a lot of alcohol ink this morning work and i did some that i really liked and i did a lot that was just blotchy and not so great okay come on camera there we go you guys ready should i do a dumb drum roll it's turned a little muddy but i still think it's gorgeous I still think that it was a cool thing to do, but I did get a little mud out of it. 
How fun is that? You see some of that detail? Almost looks rusty. Now what's on there, I think I might turn grunge. See that orange turned so dark, deep and rusty color? It's just amazing. This one, this one is fabulous. This one would be awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to put um, some of my Azo gold on here because, nickel Azo gold, because that would go really well with what we have. I don't know, there might not be that much left. There it is. Maybe it's stored upside down. Or it is dry as a bone. Dry as a bone. Needs moisture. I'm going to throw some of this uh, darker blue in here too. And uh, see what we get with that. I know. Wow. It is so fun what you can do. And you don't know you're doing it. That's the thing, Keisha. Is you don't know what you're doing, honestly. I mean, you do. After you've done it, as long as I have. But in the beginning, you don't know what you're going to end up with until you're done. And then you go, oh my gosh, if I'd have known. I'd have done that all day long, right? You'd have just done that all day long. So really, honestly, the only thing that's important about this is to let the layers dry in between and break them up enough to where you see the next layer from behind the next thing. That's the most important thing about this. So I've got the colors that we already had there. I've got the blue. I'm going to bring that orange back in because it's going to help us get that rusty color again without using, um, you know, more expensive paints. I could put rust colored things in there and I could put copper and metallics and things. But here it is just an inexpensive orange. And when it mixes with this, it's just going to do exactly what I what I would like it to do now we don't want to get too much because we don't want it to turn too muddy I just got to break that up a bit because I don't want it to look like um, lines that I wouldn't want to have there and then we're going to come back in oh you know what we haven't done and we should do again so let's do this one we'll use a different one that we haven't seen before so this one is a smaller one it will go three across I think two and a half there we go. There we go. So that picked up the orange and broke up the orange for us. I'm trying to decide if I think I want that yellow. I think I'm going to skip the yellow this time. Get the turquoise back in there. And then I can find another color to brighten it with if I feel like it's not bright enough. But we're still layering. Layering, layering all day long. So we've got the colors that were there. We've got the darker blue. We've got orange, azo gold. Now, let's see about bringing in a stencil. I don't know. That one isn't gonna. That one isn't gonna work as well. It doesn't have as much open real estate as this one does. So let's use this one. So there we go. Now we get to pull up some of that. All right. And then we'll put a color over that. I just don't want the yellow though. I'm wondering about the purples again. I am, I am, I am wondering about purples. Purple. We're going to have so many colors in here again that I'm not going to recognize it. Okay, so here we go. Get some purple in here. These are blending very translucently, so it's not um, marring up. Like it, you can still see the blue. I'm going to pull up some of this with my paper again. Oh, I like that. I like that. So I'm going to pull this up. See there, now we have the purple flower in a different way. The last time, if you look at this one, the last time our flower was more yellow. You see the, the primary color there was the yellow in the front. Now the flower is going to need to show through the paints that are behind it. So what I think I'm going to do now, even though I want to keep this paint here, 
um, is put clear on there and pull it up with clear so that we can just keep what we have and see. It may not end up as nice as um, some of the others, but we don't know until we try and it's just all in experimenting because this is the thing. There will be a lot of white because we're going to pull it up with white paper. Does that make sense? Is that That's why I was um, had to think about did I want to pull it up with a, a white a color or the paper, the clear, all those different things. So now we're going to grab another sheet of paper and let's see what we get. Hope I didn't put too much clear on there. There we go. Nope, not too much. I can feel the tug. A lot of white coming out, and I wouldn't have liked that, but I have shown you guys before that I can spray. Oh, wow. Can you see some of that? Oh, my goodness everywhere just everywhere has a bit of extreme color blending and texture right here look at the orange has the look at that look at that look at those crusty bits is it just me because i'm telling you i could do this every day for the rest of my life. I just love it. I absolutely adore the jelly plate. Okay, so we still have a little bit of whatever on there. So the best thing to do now, in my opinion, is just to go get some of our paints, put them on here to use up the paint and get something on the board that we can muss up. And some of that will come back up but it won't look the way it did in the others because it won't have been enough. It's much, much everywhere. Okay, so there's that one used up. Now let's do these two. And I'm actually thinking, do you guys remember? I'm not sure where I set it all. I had a pile of stencils. I probably put it somewhere else. So I am also going to be, let's go ahead and use some of the new ones. I am going to be selling these at the market. I will be having Tim, not Tim Holtz. It's Dilution, Ranger Dilution. Same thing. Same guy, huh? Same bat channel, same bat time. Anyways, this one is... The Court Jester Large. This one's awesome. So now I don't want to have it be everywhere and do everything. So I am going to do this. Alright. Awesome. Let's see if I can do it sideways. Just for kicks. Just for kicks. I got that line there. If I was more careful, I wouldn't have got that line there. I would have tried not to get that line there, but I did get the line there. So now I'm going to throw in some of this purple. i got to be kind of careful or I'm going to end up blending everything right into mud. Just completely mud. So let's do that. Toss this aside. Now let's bring this one back, but let's do this one first. We've been, this was the focus of the day, was the fact that you can literally make yourself a jelly plate stamp out of a box, right? Out of cardboard and make a fabulous, fabulous stencil. Or um, I think that would be considered a mask maybe. So I'm just going to do this. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to tilt it though this time. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go right down the center because I hadn't put it there. So there's the new stencil. And I will have, um, I don't know how many or if they'll be in a kit or not. But they will be 
at the sale. So, and I also have this, and I always try to keep this in mind for things because it will give me a nice small. Hi, Ty. How are you, sweetie? How's things going? Okay, so I'm going to put this teal on here, and it's going to have all of those other purples and oranges come out on top of this. This will be the background color so far. And I'll break this one up, and then we'll put another one on. So we did clear the last time, uh, last couple times, so I think what I'll do this time is I'll pick a color to bring out or to pull it up with. So we'll see. We'll see what that ends up being. I'm going to do some more. Some more of that. Okay. The only other thing I see here that I could add in that would uh, create even more would be these circles. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to do one more Passover of this. I know... It seems like I just do a lot, but I really think if I was to count it, it's somewhere near seven. And it just kind of seems to be my go-to, you know, it just seems to be the way that I... So I don't want to pull it up with white. I don't know that I want to pull it up with yellow. These are the other stencils I'll be offering um, at the sale. I have the smaller gesture one, gesture one. I have linen. I have diamonds. Diamonds are forever. So those will be, and then I have, I have quite a bit more stuff, ladies. So definitely come check out the sale. I'm so tempted to put pink in there, but I don't want to do pink. If I was to do anything, I'm thinking another kind of an orangey color, but I don't want it to be like, I'm thinking maybe even this. What do you think? Let's do the antique gold. Tone it down a bit. <laughs> I know that looks like mustard. It's like I'm going to have a ham sandwich on rye. But if I do it right, it might lighten this up a bit. The last few have been a little dark. And it might not. It might turn it into mustard. It might turn it into green, it looks like. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we're going to pull this up. We're going to be done with it. We'll see what all the colors we threw on there if we made soup yet. Is it soup yet? Okay. Definitely got to, uh, some of the colors got to go into a, a definite. Tired went to Disney yesterday. Oh, that's fun time. That's awesome that you were able to do that. I'm thinking I might be going to the beach soon. But I still got some details to figure out. Still got a few. Okay, ready? <gasps> oh, goodness gracious me. Check that out. I thought I was lightening it. I darkened that sucker right up. Look at that. Well, you know what? That might not be true. It might not have been so, might not have had those bright spots if I hadn't done the yellow. So maybe I did lighten it, but I didn't expect it to be so dark. This dark spots here are from the original pool that we did. Oh, this is gorgeous, ladies. This is gorgeous. Fabulous. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about me. Um sharing some of these images on Patreon and see what you think because I, um, I'm, I'm eventually thinking about um, dropping my .com, which means I would no longer be able to offer digital kits and images over there. I'm still going to and have been making digital kits for my uh, design team in uh, Newbies. And so, um, uh, and I, and I offer those as free, some of the parts of those as freebies over on Patreon. So that's been working out. I can still see some things under there, but I got to decide. I don't know. I really, I'm just excited about this one. This one is so cool, but I got to come up with a better way. I don't like the line. Maybe if I, <gasps> what do you think, ladies? Should I do it? Should I do it? I'm going to do it. Look at me. 
this blasphemous? I don't know. I've done it before, so if it's bad, you're going to have to judge me twice or seven times. I don't know. Seven or six because I don't like that line and my my board is too big. So that's why I try to try to buy the 12 by 12s when I can, right? Okay, there we go. I just got up a brand new out of the package stencil. But look, now I won't have that mark. And I'm going to do this and I'm going to find my piece of paper that I've been doing this on. All right. Oh, I love it. And then I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to go this way with it because I'm crazy like that. Oh, and then I'm going to put it up here and we're done. Perfect. Perfect. I love that. That is working out really well, ladies. I'm telling you, um, those dilutions. Hey, I'm going to stick with the yellows and oranges for right this minute. I don't know why. I can't say why. I must have a gut feeling. I don't know. What do I say? I have a gut feeling that this is the way I want to go, so I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I truly sometimes have a plan, and I know what I want to do, and then other times I just, my gut is what flows me, and I can't say, oh, when I use my gut, I am always right, because I'm not. I will make a big old mess big old mess but look at me here still doing it still trying still trying to put things together and colors and shapes oh i love this this thing is my favorite this is my favorite one this is my second favorite one. Oh, and i found the the right i'm gonna take a drink of tea ah oh, my breakfast my blueberries finally blueberries and oatmeal finally kicked in and i'm feeling a little bit energetic so I'm talking a little bit fast. I'm going to put these circles in here. We haven't used these yet. Okay. And then when we do the next level uh, layer, we'll use the script. I think this looked really pretty in some of the things that we were doing before. I like this yellow. I like it. But what am I going to do next? I've already done, see, let's look at the three that we've done so that we don't just match the same thing over and over. Because that, ladies, is boring. So we have this one, which is the yellow, the teal, the orange. It has some purple in it. This one is definitely a purple focus with the teal and the gold. And then this one, which is the yellow in the front and then the burnt orangey color in there. So I am thinking to keep this one as light as possible... I might just continue, like I have this, ooh, hey, check this out. I was using this that one day. This is Rose Portrait, or Portrait Pink. In French, it's Rose Portrait. <laughs> like, leave it to me to read the French version. I am all that and a bag of chips, huh? Okay, so got that booger off there. Dried boogers are no fun. There we go. Let's do it. It may not do what I want it to do. It may not happen in my mind, or on here like it's happening in my mind, but it's worth a layer. It's worth a layer. It's la layer worthy. Let's put it that way. Oh, no, let's do the board. We got to put this in almost everything because, let's do the new one that we haven't done yet. Because this was today's, I want to know, like, I'd love for you guys, if you jelly plate or whatever you do, that you want to um, share your art on Melody Made, uh, hashtag Melody Made, so that I can see if I inspired you for something, right? So let's put this in here. You can definitely see those and they look great. Okay, so now we have to come up with another color. We have to either do green, teal, orange, maybe red. I don't usually work with red a lot, but it would be beautiful. Let's do Rooster Red. Rooster Red. Right there. Okay. Let's see what this does. Okay. 
Remember, we've just been over and over and over adding layers and texture. So we've had added colors and then we added texture to it. We added a color, we let it dry, we added texture, we let it dry, we did everything, let it dry. I'm thinking, I know this is going to mess this up a bit, but I'm thinking what I'd like to do is put this down and pull up some of that because I'd like to kind of keep that same theme um, in my projects today. I don't know if they'll be getting scanned in or not, but we'll see. So there, I got the red off of some of that. And then I'm going to come in on, on that area and put the text, right? Let's see if I can do it right side up. I don't know if it matters if it's right side up. I don't even know if it's... Yeah, it's showing up. It's showing up a little bit. Okay, so then we pull this up. Right? Look at that. Let's see about... Got it. See, this right here on the sides is really thick and gloppy, and we don't want that. So we're going to just tap it off with a piece of paper so that it will dry as well as that center did. Now we got the red in there. Now I'm feeling like, oh, ooh, almost looks like a bloody mess. So we can do purple or teal. Does somebody want to vote? Teal or lavender purple or dark purple? If I go dark purple, I think I'll lose the red. So teal or medium purple? This is violet. I almost kind of want to use this one. Purple pizzazz. You know what? We could put the purple down and then the teal. There's nobody stopping us. There is nobody making rules right now. We're just going to hint this in there and then we'll pull it all up with the teal. How's that? that sound fun? I think that sounds fun. I think so. We're just hinting in the, the purple. It's not full coverage. Everything's so wet anyways. Just kind of moving around a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to get the actual yellow up. It's been so long. This is a very um, translucent paint, just so you know. Very translucent. Let's break that up a bit. Now I, I think we might have lost our flower, though. We'll see. We'll see if it's there or not. Actually, I think I'm going to try to pull it up because I don't know how much more of this can take. That's a lot of layers. Just remember, we have a lot in the front, so we don't know what it's going to look like. Hi, Angie. How are you? Okay, let's get those edges. We want to make sure and get those edges. Press down. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that one. Not sure I like that purple blotch, but otherwise, there's still some on the on the plate, too. Otherwise, we got some nice green in here. Um, probably from the level, bef uh, the layer uh, last pass. And then we can see the flower in there. It's just faint. Let's see, where is it? Right there. Kind of cool. Different. So now I'm going to pull this all off with teal. And I think that will be it. I think that will be the end of the day for me. I have enjoyed this so much, ladies. I love jelly plating. My favorite thing. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pull that up and see what is underneath there. And if it will come up, if I can coax it up. Angie's not feeling good today. I'm sorry, sweetie. Well, you're in my prayers. I hope you feel better. Oh, goodness. Come on. Come on. Come on, paint. There we go. Ooh, this will be a good one. We're going to pull off everything left on the board. Just about. Just about. Okay, so we have teal. 
with the yellow bits on top. Good background, not as detailed as the others, but it's a good last pull. There's still some purple in there and a little bit of red. And then the dark greens from when we were making other things. But look at this here. You see that detail there? Not fun. Okay, so we made this one. We made this one. This one is fabulous. This one's a good, good one. This one's a good, good one. This will scan in well. And then I think this one may be my favorite because I, I, I like green too. I like, I like all the colors. Um, I'm looking around to see if I've missed anything. Um, I had done this before with the oxide sprays right here through a stencil and um, used this stencil in our projects today and we focused on using cardboard right right okay i'm gonna head out of here ladies thank you so much have a fabulous day and i will see you next wednesday um probably jelly plating but it could be other things you never know come check it out and see big hugs Talk to you later. Bye-bye.